Instead of the game Sorrow, we called it My Bad. That was Jared making me watch his animation and my genuine reaction to it. Um, Welcome back to the pod, baby. I just watch it till the end and then laugh. You just let out this like forced laugh. You're like, well, that's my cartoon and I deem it funny. <laughs> it's psychotic. If you, if you don't, you know what I've been learning? You got to do a lot of self-love. You know, you got you to gotta love yourself. The you most. are absolutely right. I've been doing a lot of self-love as well. And we could tell by that Belor outfit because it ain't, it ain't, ain't nobody else loving it. <laughs> I've already gotten multiple compliments from my Instagram story. And also have put out multiple hits on <laughs> people. I'm taking people out. <laughs> this is my new life. I'm like, Jared thinks he can be the only mob wife. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a mob wife, too. Oh, you look great. Karen. Happy mob wife Christmas. Are you seeing all my decorations? That's my stocking from, like, childhood. This is, like, how you know your parents don't love you anymore. Like They gave it away, though. I get this out of our face, Karen. Like, we don't want to see it. They're like, we're thinking like, about your you. fucking what's shoved up your stocking, and we don't want to think about it. What's shoved up your stocking, Karen? A bunch of black penises. <laughs> First of all, I wish. Second of all, <laughs> stop saying that because it's not true. <laughs> Really? Oh, <coughs> is everything all right over there? What do you mean? Nothing. Uh, well, it feels great to be 25. You know, first week of 25 is it's great. Happy fucking birthday. What it, are we, two minutes and 15 seconds in? And it's birthday boy, birthday boy, birthday boy. You're like my fucking sister. Like, you people that take up uh, how long? Like, you've been talking about it already for a week. So, and now it's a, how many days? It's well, tomorrow. It's, it's, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. It's technically, it's tomorrow. But I this know. episode will have been out for a week. So, that's why I just say it because it's so funny. You're already starting to talk about it. Our last episode was <laughs> called Birthday Boy. It's sickening. You're such a chick. You're a basic chick. I, I like getting this hype about your birthday is it's extremely juvenile. There's no hype. Over, I'm not even doing anything for it. I'm just chilling. <laughs> Shut up. Let's, let's check the replies that people said to get me. Let's Some of the th- funniest and uh, so many repeats. Uh, I'll let you know. The, a lot a of people. Jo- a joke book was mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Jared is... Re- Do you know how to get to it? Or you need no. some, you need somebody who's tech savvy because so, you're too old? Take it. So I put in my story for those few people who may not cross over in that Venn diagram of <laughs> watching this on sit, YouTube sit. and following me on Instagram. Check out Ernest's new sweater from Max and Bone. They do not sponsor us, but they fucking should. All right, here we go. <laughs> shush, shush. Here we go. What? Are we going to... Oh, there's a bunch of replies. Oh, my gosh. I w- yeah, it was a big wow, hit. Wow, a lot. Big hit. Yeah, I have a lot of followers. That's what it looks like with somebody who has a lot of followers. <laughs> there's like two I people. It seems like they're into me. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You would think that. So how many repeats are there? So we got jokes, punchline, <laughs> get him put down. Shout out to Colum. Uh, big, big, big fan. Go watch his episode. That was a great app. That's the other thing. You're invading people's privacy if you if you say well, you posted who said the it. screenshot. On I posted it. one because and he was in it. Was he in that one? That yeah. was like a good group. That was like Micah got one. I really like this guy. A mini crockpot. He's really thinking about me. Yeah, <laughs> he wants you to survive on your own. Humility. Uh, that's something we've been talking about. That's deep. That's a deep cut right there. Pornhub Premium account. That would be a nice gift. Would you appreciate that gift? No, I don't really care. Testosterone. Okay. <laughs> Strippers. Better help. Wow, that's coming at you. Better help? Better help. What do you mean? Saying you're not enough. No, they mean it's a therapy service. Online therapy. Better help. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. They're saying your help's not good enough, Karen. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. First of all, it's disgusting how lit up you just were at the notion of that. You sicko. That tells me, like, the second that Jared's, like, stupid animation goes, like, legit viral with, like, these, like, teeny bopper people, like, 
he's just gonna leave us bro. <laughs> like when the second that he gets any type of like no. fast success this yeah, is right. how spineless he is he's gonna leave us so fast no i'm not spineless you know you just gotta adapt so like i you know you gotta be like water you know water don't got spine <laughs> no. that was bad that was bad <laughs> somebody another person wrote a joke book hey whoever this person wrote a job i got one motherfucker why don't you catch up on the episodes? They probably stopped watching because of me. <laughs> Please go back and watch some of the episodes if uh, uh, you miss any of Jared's I like journey. this one. A woman that you can't blow up. That was a good one. That's a good one. Ew, this person wrote a, subscrip- a free subscription to your OnlyFans. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I would sell that Ew. for double. Gross. Sell it on the black market. Throw it up on Reddit with the rest of it. Fuck it. Somebody wrote, haven't you gotten him enough already? Didn't you write that? No, that was uh, Derek Drescher. <laughs> your, our friend. Like, <laughs> but, like, that's Jared's friend. Like, that's Jared's, like, boy. <laughs> Amazon gift card. This guy was really thinking about me. That's nice. That's a good idea. Social etiquette lessons. We've been working on those. How yeah. have I been doing? Um, worse. I, how, worse every time. You're no. giving. No. Other you're, than takeaway Thanksgiving. Other than that. <laughs> Thanksgiving as a holiday, as a punishment. No, well, the, fr- <laughs> the friends giving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, that the friends giving, uh, whatever. No, but there's but then other people who are like, the, it just feels like <clears throat> sometimes people turn around and you're just there. <laughs> so just try to be mindful of that. Like you know how you said you're like water. Like water continues to like move, move. and float through. You know what I mean. So like yeah. try not to sneak up on people and scare them. Um, Pat. If you're going to do the story, I'm going to look at... For sure. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm For doing. sure. I'm going to groom myself. All right. Cole. Can I tell you something, though, Jared? I did get you a birthday present. Wow. Look at, yeah? Look at Pat, the producer. Move like a fox. This is the first time I've seen him move. Uh, Are we opening right now? Wow. Shout moved. out Shout out to her. <laughs> I know. Fucking dig from oh, some no. prominent... Um, yeah, Jared, this is your... Gift because, listen, I knew you were going to bother me about um, your birthday uh, multiple times. So I was like, let me just fucking get him something. So it's not here yet. (laughs) It'll be arriving probably by the next episode. So we'll let you open it and try it on. Um, (laughs) But show everybody what I got. Karen Karen and Pat. Pat. Shout out to Pratt. Karen and. (laughs) Do you have that? Do you already have this one? (laughs) No, no. No, no. Are you sure? This sweater? Yeah. That was on the way to open no, he made mic. this. This is the first ever open mic. I, this is my face. I know he made it. Who do you think this, told him to make it? That's, this that's, is great. Are you excited? I'm very excited. We, Pat and I both jointly, because Pat's taking a big sweatshirt. cut in his pay this week. <laughs> we got him a Supreme sweatshirt. Do you think I deserve it, though? Now now I want to hear those answers. That's the obviously, real birthday gift. Obviously, we do. <laughs> we, des- we think we each deserve think you deserve half a sweater <laughs> <laughs> if it was just up to both of us you'd be wearing a crop top <laughs> individually wow <laughs> i'm excited oh are you gonna cry no, I, I, I oh my god jared are you crying <laughs> oh my god pat this is photo is <laughs> jared look at pat that jared, have you never got a present before jared has a woman a who isn't one. your mom not a meaningful one ever gotten you a present before yeah of course i love <laughs> The thing is, the thing is, those presents really started to become uh, uh, subtractions. <laughs> what do you mean? Like subtractions off my bill. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> gifts start to just become a, leven- a lessening of the debt. Yeah. So now that you know that Pat Thank and I have Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, guys. Thank spent you. Spent a certain amount of money to and show you much. what we think of you. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask any questions. I'm just going to appreciate the. You will ask questions and you will remember the tax. There's (laughs) fucking tax. People forget about the fucking tax in New York and it's wild. I'm so fucking great. Everybody should want a friend like me. (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm very excited to wear it. All right. So what are you doing for your birthday? You have a spot? No, I got no spot. I'm going to go to a stand and beg for some spots. I'm like hosting After last week, two I shows tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday gift from Jared to me is Jared. My can I, can I exchange night. this for a spot? <laughs> That's worth much more. You don't like it? No. When did I say that? 
I'm sending it back. When the fucking guy drops it off in the front, I'm like, take it back. <laughs> Dude, I got but this I fucking sweatsuit is awesome. I mean, it's I do believe this brand specifically is yeah, can brand be is it? overpriced. It's I, I don't know, I'm probably it's pronounced like Wesley, but it's W S L Y. <coughs> it's a bandier brand, which oh, I wish I had some fucking female followers, honestly. Because they would know and they'd be like, That's cool. But this was they were having a huge sale. 40%. It probably stands for we should leave you. Let's go, so, Pat. We're out. <laughs> Alright, so before we started this episode. I just ignored you. I don't know what happened. Before we started this episode, you were talking, you were asking me if you should communicate with some girl who you had ghosted uh, initially. I feel like I'm ghosting her. I did hit her up last week for Thanksgiving Eve. I was like, hey, what are you up to? But and we, what were your intentions behind that hit up? I talk. mean, and they don't have to be clear. I don't know. Clear. I don't know. I think yeah. I was going to like maybe see what she was up to, maybe get together and then. It would probably be fucked up to break news to her that day, so I wouldn't have done it. Break what news? Like, hey, I don't think, like... I, that's the thing. Like, we're not anything, but I want to just be a nice person. <laughs> so you person. wanted to hang out with her just to hurt her feelings? No, that's what off? I'm saying. I wasn't going to do that. I was going to see what she was up to. To I don't hook know. up with her? Do you yeah, have romantic I'd probably interest in her? No, I don't. Are I'm, you physically I wanna... attracted to her? Physically, yeah. Mentally, no. <laughs> what is she, a high school grad? Why aren't you mentally attracted to her? Because, you know, we just haven't connected. I just wasn't. I'm just not looking for that mentally right now. Well, that's two different. But things. physically, we can't. Not that we can't. She was a virgin. I can't believe we were talking about a virgin on our podcast. That seems blasphemous. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like, I mean, you're going to say virgin? Yeah. I feel like kind of like a virgin again because it's been two weeks since i've had sex <laughs> fucking done virgin virginal me Is everything all right Karen? do we need that you're talking about self-love and i'm like listen i i mean all you have to do is open my message request not to toot my own horn but like there's plenty of male attention being thrown at your girl's way and i love it and keep it coming appreciate every ounce of it but like when you're like fixated on one person i think this is a, a difference between Men and women, like men, I feel like try to like fuck the girl out of their head with like as much new pussy as yep. they can like find and get. Yeah. It's like standards are thrown out the window. It's no. quantity. It's not quality. No. It's just like fuck that girl out of my brain. No. <clears throat> yeah. Not for me. You're a liar. As so right. no, for it's, women, it's, not. it's been quality. For women, there's something about there's something like that can be really meaningful and sacred about like being devoted to somebody and like refusing the advances of others. It's a very powerful feeling too, actually turning people down rather than just being like, yeah, you know what I mean? No, probably not. Here's my point. Then this is what you were saying earlier. I also have been in the position where I have been attracted to somebody, but like it kind of stops there or like, I'm not like feeling it that much, but they will have expressed serious interest in me mm -hmm. and at that point i feel like it's your responsibility to show mercy to that person mercy yes like if they have you ever just liked somebody so much that it's like beyond your control i know you have like the way that you feel about that person it's like you just you like them so much it doesn't you know it doesn't matter yeah so like for them to sort of if they truly care about you and your mental health they would separate you from you in a way to spare you. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Like if I know if I'm like, I listen, I could still like throw a guy a bone here and there. But like if I get to start feeling that he likes me and I don't like him back, I'm not going to fuck up his life. Like I don't want that karma. I right. don't like being a liar or like it's kind of like being right. feeling like a phony. So. If I know that somebody likes me, I'm just like, I'm going to chill with you. I don't like playing with people. You'll let them know. Yeah. And then uh, and then I sort of like kind of get icy. I'll get like kind of cold with them because yeah. then we have to kind of start over. And like we can be friends again, but like a certain period of time has to pass. Right. And then we can rebuild that friendship on like a new playing field. I don't know. Do you think there's a chance for them the next time around? No. Um... Or is it it's just With off. me? Uh, I don't know. People With evolve. you because you're a slut? Yeah, of course. I was going to say, I don't know. People evolve, you know? For sure. Yeah, cause, yeah I totally uh, feel you on that. Because uh, 
I wish. No, nah, not that I, w- I wish I knew now what I knew then. You can't just quote like Rod Stewart songs. I mean, you can't. I mean, can you play that? How does that? How does that song go, Pat? Because it reminds me of a other situation I was in, and uh, if I, was young, I wish I handled it a bit if I had better. Known, and if I was uh, younger, would I have no? <laughs> when I was younger, <laughs> this is giving me very like lounge singer. When I was young, Rod Stewart. When I was younger, wish I knew now. Did you? Ha- I would already be playing it. Ooh yeah, la it, la! Did you? But know I guess you? yeah. You're right. There's no point to hitting this girl up and just saying hey i'm not really looking for anything right it's weird i mean you're trying to build a meaningful friendship with her but you know she's attracted to you and likes you i don't want to read the lyrics pat i want to listen to the song you know it won't we did it last time we did it we didn't get taken down we We did i'm coming out we We did it last time we sang our own we're a karaoke podcast now (laughs) it's karaoke karaoke podcast (laughs) can you just fast forward to the refrain why are you so musically dumb i mean any person would be like let me i love what i know now all right you can turn it off now that I knew what I know now. But yeah. Uh, when I was younger. What? Is the legal YouTube coming at us right now, Pat? Dun, dun, dun. Legal tube. Biff. But yeah. Graphic. You're right. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> fire. 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 <laughs> All right. Sorry. Right, so I got nothing to fight back Grow up. That. You grow up. I, I, I want, and that's why I think doing this would be grown up of me to be like, hey. I know I haven't really reached out. I'm sorry about that. I don't want you to feel. Yeah, if you want to legit just drop our line and move on and be like, hey, listen, I'm yeah. not interested in you romantically. Like, fucking lead. Be very straightforward. Should I just text her that? I don't know. I mean, is that... Right. It, my other question is, is she asking you? No. So, <laughs> to me, it's like, I just she feel like hurting out. a she girl's has, feelings on a Friday. Like, what are you out. doing? She has reached out to be, like, to show interest. Uh, so, what did I say in the beginning? If there are unanswered DMs from her in your inbox, There's all not. I would do... There's not. So, you were the one who messaged last. So, yeah. she's ignoring you. No, the last, the last <laughs> messages <laughs> were like, What are like, you hey, doing? Happy, what are we doing? The last messages were, hey, have a happy Thanksgiving. That was it. She said, you too. I think I said, thanks. But Ugh. like, yeah, I just feel bad. Like, I feel like I, I feel like I have her on the hook. Like, I can hit her up and be like, hey, what's up? But like, I got, you know. I mean, she's making that decision to be available to you yeah, also. You're right. She's so, yeah. an adult. She can, like I'm doing, like staying devoted and like celibate because I'm only in love with one person. Right. But she could also be in a state of mind where I have been plenty of times where it's like, yeah, I'll fuck him. Oh, I like him too. He's right. fun. He's a good time. Hope he doesn't sleep over, et cetera. Right. It's always so, yeah, the ones you don't want to sleep over. The date I went on this over. weekend was pretty good too. What? The date I went on. Oh, I meant to ask you. Where'd you go? How was the food? We, oh, no. We just, How was the food? Did you we just went for, we just went for, we just went for uh, a drink. What? We just went for a drink. We were going to go to the gutter bar, but then I was like, oh, shit. Where Jack Comstock works? Uh, Sure. Where there's uh, Comedians You Should Know, the show. Yeah. And that show was happening that night. I was like, oh, I don't want to go there. There's a show. Oh, and it was we, Wednesday? And we ended up ending up there. <laughs> That's a great show. Can we, um, great show. Tim, shout out to Tim McLaughlin. Who how was do you on know? It. He fucking crushed Friend it. Friend of drank, the show, drank, Tim McLaughlin. Chugged a beer in 0.3 seconds. Of course he did. He's a nut job. He's fucking pelican. He's, he's hilarious. He's got a pelican. Talking shit about Micah in front of Micah. I yeah. love it. They're both wretched to each other. That's why I know their love will last. Yeah, they're great. Uh, but yeah, her... her the girl and I, we went and had a drink for like an hour. Then we walked around the corner to uh, the gutter bar. <gasps> Did you finger her pussy or not? Well, on Dasher and been, Dancer and finger her butthole. <laughs> we, we had a great kiss. Dasher and Daughter and, this, and I did put not, it I did not in have her butt. I just made the move. You did? Yeah. What? I just went in for the kiss. You schmooched her? Schmooched. It was a, it was a nice, it was a good schmooch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Okay. <laughs> oh, was that a callback? Yep. From one of my funnier moments that Pat and I both remember. Yep. All right. But so show everybody how you kiss. 
<laughs> graphic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it was it was, it was sweet. Why am I uh, treating this like this crazy. Is like a video game? Pretty girl. Pretty girl, nothing crazy. I'm sure she would be elated to hear that. I hope she never no, texts you again. If some guy fucking said that, actually, what up? I'm saying we didn't do anything get, crazy. Pretty girl, nothing crazy. That's what you said. No, I mean in that context, we didn't do anything crazy. If a guy was talking about me on a podcast and he wanted to see me again, he better be saying some great shit about me. Shut the fuck up. That's how we know that never happened. You know, it was in a podcast. I actually haven't yet. I'm gonna though. (laughs) It's my New Year's uh, resolution. So I had to I had to call tonight early because I had to get home so I could wake up to try and find work in the morning at six a.m. Why do you act like you're like living under a bridge? (laughs) And uh, (laughs) I didn't want to get home too late. And she was like, after after the uh, very nice kiss, she goes, she goes, you got a curfew, right? I was like, yeah. (laughs) Burn, burn. This girl's funny. (laughs) This girl's funny. You should have been like, she's funny. She made fun of me for living with my parents. No. And she's beautiful. She knew I had responsibilities. This is why I didn't want to wear the suit on the podcast because I knew the dog was going to be in. So what's up with you, Care Care Bear? How was your week? Um, It's pretty great. Do people call you Care Bear? Yes. People call me Jare Bear. No. That's my boy. I call him J Rod. Do you know you know about that? My dad's L Rod. Yeah. We spoke about that earlier. Me and your dad DM a lot. Actually? No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. He's probably in your fucking request. Do you follow him? <laughs> yeah, I follow him. We chat sometimes. We like reply with like laughy faces to each other's stuff. I would oh. love to get dinner with you guys one day. Oh. Well, when you save up four weeks of pay. <laughs> <laughs> You can take Hey, us. Karen, I might be out here sooner than later. <coughs> Excuse me. Spoke to my mom about the, the opportunity <sighs> of moving out within the next year, and she's like, nah, you're, you're good here. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to be uh, co-hosting on Monday on the Jim and Sam show. Yeah. Well, well I, how I, would it have been, Karen? I will have co-hosted. I will have, had, I will have had the co-hosting chair. Good thing we're promoting it. Under my bottom. Well, sometimes what it's else just is under your bottom, yeah, whore? I don't know, but I fucked up a bar class so hard today. Shout out to Diane. She's a mean little brunette. I like her. Karen She's like, you guys can the do the bars. modification, but I recommend that you don't. Well, did you do it? <laughs> I never do the modification. I'm always in the front of the class. I'm usually better than the teachers. Um, Diane's fucking dying piece though and she's, yeah. like, she's fucking she's good um, highly recommend a bar class to men and women because it really gets after some muscles that you skip in your fucking you know generic not to call it generic but weightlifting class or certainly a cycling class it really targets especially for women wh- wh- especially for women I'm gonna rub it off on you yeah um, it's great for your hip joints really strengthens um your fucking hips and your hip flexors and you know i don't know i see a lot of older women with hip problems but it ain't gonna be your girl i am becoming a superhuman <laughs> jared else, you suck what else were you said we were gonna cover uh i know i actually meant down to write down topics oh well i already talked about i'm doing it oh, i forget when i'm doing it i'm getting a boyfriend at santa con this year oh yeah hmm? I already ordered my costume. Oh, yeah. You're doing that with Jim and Sam, right? Mm-hmm. I got my dad and brother, uh, not my dad and brother, my dad and my nephew hockey tickets to a Bruins game. Like, nice seats. But I'm worried that, like, my dad's going to have to, like, go pee in the middle of the game and going to leave my nephew alone. He's going to get abducted or whatever. So I'm going to have to buy my brother a fucking ticket. And then if I leave my brother-in-law out, I'm the ultimate cunt. So I got to get his ass a fucking ticket. And I'm going to look at my sister when I give it to him and be like, uh, this is unfair. <laughs> JK. Ah, what? I'm feeling great about my physical health. Um, I don't give a fuck about this variant at all. Um, if you do, you're sickly and weak, probably overweight. Your circadian rhythm is probably jacked. You getting a booster? Yeah. I, my booster's right here. Ah, fuck. I don't need anything. Like, I feel amazing. Like, I could, like, jump over stuff that, like, somebody this small shouldn't be able to jump over. Like, if there was, like, life at the other side of a puddle, I would crush it. (laughs) 
like if it was life or death and I had to leap over a puddle, I would leap to safety. <coughs> Ernest has some type of eye infection I'm going to ignore. <laughs> I don't. Along with the tumor too? Want a vet belt. I know the tumor we got to check out. I think it's probably benign. Ernest is probably honestly like 15 years old. The rescue place just wanted to jack the price up on him. And I don't care. Look at that fucking sweater. Max and Bone. It'd be so great if they sponsored us. Next week, I'm going to wear my, remind me, my new Fleur de Mall. Oh, it's so cute. Karen, do be flirting with them all. What are some, give me some flirting tips, Karen. Learning how to, uh, learn how to be more direct. Shout out to uh, Khalil's, Khalil's girlfriend. Uh, help me out with this one, with this girl I just went out with the other night. Uh, so if this girl is still listening to the podcast, yeah, she probably will find out. None of this was me that got us to date. But she, she had reached out to me after the show. And because uh, I, I comped her ticket, she was like, thank you. I wish I wish we could have. Uh... Feeling my chest like cough up weed like feels better than listening to you. I know. I was going to. Yeah, I'm done with that story. Forget it. Come on. I'm just saying, give me a little razzle dazzle. Like, jazz it, it up no a little. no razzle dazzle. Jazz it up nothing. a little. It's nothing. weird. I like. Nothing. That's, that's why you're here. <laughs> why am I here? Other than razzle to give dazzle, my stupid dazzle. life and you commentate it. And maybe throw a zinger here and there. I just really appreciate it when weightlifting teachers throw in mobility warm ups like ankle circles, hip circles, because, you know, those are the things. Like, look at your slumped over gross posture. And Shut your up. Pale ass face. <laughs> huh? Can do 10 push ups right now. I've been doing 50 a day. Just give me 10 then. It shouldn't be a big deal. Ten. I was like honestly shocked. Like he's not doing like full extension push-ups. What are you talking about? Those you are don't great. you don't straighten your arms all the way. Yeah, I do. <laughs> he's gonna th- he's gonna throw up. Are, are you gonna cry now? Yeah, no, Pat, Pat, not you. Pat, can't. Pat, go. Pat, you have to. And then he's I'll working. Pretend. He's working. He's working. Yeah, I had a I had a. I had a, I had a I shout out, we, shout out to should, my boy Pat. Should I decide who's are better? Shout out to my boy Pat, making me a fire clip this week that uh, got a lot of traction. Wow, to whoa, everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving the joke because I, sh- I shit on myself so much. I pity shared it. Um. <laughs> Go check it out if you haven't yet. Should I do push-ups? Uh, I finally wrote a new joke after seven months. Push-ups, right? And I decided to put it out so everybody can see it. Be like, hey, I'm writing new material. What are you doing, Karen? Push-ups? All right, Karen's going to do her 10 girl push-ups. Oh, my gosh. Her butt is so in the air. Never mind. That's just her big butt. <laughs> Ugh. Are you serious, Karen? These are disgusting. <laughs> you look like you're humping the floor right now, Karen. These are gross. There's no way people fuck you. There's no way you, you have sex with people. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so bad. He That's said, so yeah. They were bad. Your butt was not up. Not up? No. <coughs> I thought All it right. was up. Well, Pat, send me that video. That's right. You could probably run more than me, though. Yeah. I'm doing, you're doing like tricep push ups. I'm doing traditional push ups. Okay. What Those else? are like Pilates push ups. You want to get dinner? What do you want to get for dinner? Now that we worked out. Yeah, we went hard. We deserve a steak dinner. (laughs) Listen, we're cutting my push-ups out if I don't like them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you want to do squats with that fucking 30-pound kettlebell? I could do that. But yeah, I haven't really been working out much because I've been like working. I've been having my day job. That's not an excuse. No, because I've been very busy. No response. No, you're not. Yeah. You, uh, no, you're not. You have no yeah, responsibility. I do comedy. I have to, like, walk a dog, carry careers. Like, that's crazy. And I still work out every day. You literally do nothing during the day, Karen. You sell <laughs> your soul to the devil to do nothing. <laughs> Jared, if I do nothing during the day, <laughs> who's paying for all of this? <laughs> that's what I ask. Everybody asks me, like, Jared, what's going on Jared, with you? Jared, if I'm not working, <laughs> how 
are we 60 episodes yeah, in? Do we really call it work or are you just having fun? You know, you don't, come on. If you love what you do. You'll never work a day in your life. And that's what I'm saying. Your life's a vacation, Karen. I've been saying this for 40 episodes now. <laughs> and I'm glad to just be on the fucking, the little, the little uh You're about side to get car. set loose. <laughs> you know how there's like a raft that like, you're like, this one has yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like hey, at least I'll still be sailing. You know, be out on the <laughs> seas. <laughs> you know how they're like save the women and children. Yeah. yeah. Jared like belly flops onto that <laughs> raft. Uh, but yeah, like I come, I wake up at six a.m. Find work. Maybe I could work out in the morning. I could, I could, I, sh- I should. Thank I'm not a morning that's person. All I'm saying. That's but all then I'm I get saying. home at three o'clock and then I go right out you and do comedy. You become disciplined. You make the time. I guarantee you, you'll write more jokes too. Because when you're up and moving around, I understand everybody has a process, but when you're like up and moving around and interacting and like your mind's moving too. So like you're throwing shit around in your head. I'm always like doing that and then like yeah, pulling out my I've notes. I'm doing a lot of overthinking in uh, work at work because I just sit there and I'm just watching this kid. I just, I'm just in my own head a lot. I'm just not really moving around. It's a little annoying. Today, uh, this week in, in therapy, she she was like, "You talk a lot about you talk a lot about your mom. You haven't really spoke about your dad." I was like, "You're trying to get me to talk shit about my dad right now?" <laughs> Oedipus. <laughs> and uh, she's like, "Yeah, tell me." I was like, "Well, he called me a few names growing up." She's like, "Really? What were those?" I was like, "I don't know. It's, it's generic names, you know, just ones that weren't mine, but like." <laughs> like what? Like idiot. Your dad called you an idiot. Yeah. You know, just he got a little loud sometimes, but like it was, it was, it was. Did he ever? She was trying to get me to open up, and I was like, "Ah, "We have a great relationship now." Bent me over her knee and spanked me when I was like ten. Nah, I, I, I threatened to stab my dad. Jesus. (laughs) What? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. You should have mentioned this in the first episode. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I've had a couple concussions. So have you. So that's why we're connecting so well. <clears throat> you know, my dad got hit by a car at three years old. Oh my god! Yeah, you mentioned my dad. That. My dad got uh, uh, what's it called? Like abused growing up. My dad told me that him, him and his sister were in the same room, and his dad picked him up and choked him and said, "Dance for the dummy. Dance for the dummy." And it was fucked up. Yeah, it was crazy shit. <laughs> Yeah, we should cut. We should cut that out. Like, can we put that behind the paywall, Pat? That was. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, start the Patreon sexual abuse allegations <laughs> on the next yeah. episode of 2020. Did you watch that family? We we should do. Do we have time for Patreon? Why not? What do you got going on? Pat don't have anywhere to be. He just thought he like he got out early. He just hijacked our day. Right, right. He's like, bro, I got I got out early, so like I can't kill time. I gotta come through early. We didn't communicate. It was us. We didn't communicate. I'm so tired. Like I'm so. Like I rushed. I, like I rushed you. I paid. I paid extra toll to be here. I, feel I like paid an extra toll to be here, Pat. I paid an extra. Is it really? I was gonna go do an open mic, but I don't think I'm doing that. It feels like every day is Friday. What? With you guys in my home. <sighs> but I also watched that. Sorry I, for I think I mentioned this before. Sorry for sorry for bringing that up. And pa- what do we have to do like Patreon now? I mean, thank you for listening to the all right, thanks for listening. <laughs> we really went off on a high note there. Shh, signing off, moving on. It's only, 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 only,